Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kat with The Catastrophic Budget. I am so excited that you are here and ready to play games with me because I am ready. I am so excited. I actually wasn't planning on filming. I just got home from work. I had a market tonight and I was kind of sitting down taking out money from the box and I was like, you know what? I think we're gonna do it. Um, the lighting is a lot better during the day, but this is gonna make me really happy. And I'm not really a patient person, <laughs> so I could wait till tomorrow morning, but I do have so much work to do tomorrow. See, I'm not quite finished with everything. I also just got my nails done. They don't look as bad as they did in the other videos, but I definitely need it because we have a lot of ones, a lot of ones. I've been also thinking about bringing this to the market, but I might bump it around a lot um, in my bag so let's just move this i might do a condensing in this video i also might do it separately so we'll see just depending on how much time we have so i did separate my ones between k bucks l bucks there's one c buck and my playing money so i'm just gonna count them separately let's see Actually, no, I guess I'll count them all together and then I'll just separate them as I go. So far, we have K1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. <laughs> 51 dollars in just ones. So let's separate this. I'm gonna put my daughter's money. Um, I guess I'll just put it in the back. Okay. So we have our C bucks. We have a couple of those. My K bucks. There's a bunch. Oh, okay. No, it's L bucks. And I've mentioned this before, but I didn't know that the little letter is right there. I was counting but the alphabet, and for some reason, I just got it all mixed up. And if you're still wondering what that means, um, I guess where the bills are made, um, like the little number and letter here show where. So it doesn't make sense to me how the letters were chosen. Like there's Atlanta, but A is not Atlanta. It's like something else. Um but let's just move this off to the side oh i didn't even count the rest of my money i just put it away okay five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty forty five let me just make sure one two three four five six seven eight yeah and then we have a 20 so not i can't say not a lot of money because it is 116 dollars but not a lot of like playing money um because we have a lot of k bucks or L bucks, oh my goodness, I'm just gonna get myself confused. I am going to start off with one of my challenges because I think we can finish it. I don't have enough K bucks to finish it, but I just wanna finish this and then I'm gonna go ahead and deposit this because this will be for debt. Um, okay, so let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so 21. This is one that I made. Oops, I am so out of the line, but you can't really tell. So let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure it's another 21. So 10, 15, 19, 21. Okay, so we are just going to go ahead and complete this. It should be $100, and now we have a billion ones. Oh my goodness. We have $40. <clears throat> Let's just double check that we have 100. So 40. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 19, 20, 20, 40, 60, 100. Okay. Yay. I, um,. I'm gonna deposit this i'm not gonna do like wait till the end of the month because it is the 10th let me actually just write this down so it is the 10th and then i think somewhere or no today's the eighth eighth but on the 12th is when they check my balance on my credit card and then accrue the, the um, interest so i'm gonna go ahead 
and pay more so that it, the interest isn't as high. So it is eleven eight one hundred dollars and then I will put this in my little envelope that I'm going to be using now. It's going to be in here. And we are going to start another challenge, but I am going to use this fully funded um, slip that I made. So let's put this in here. And then what I would like to do is when I start... Ooh, fully funded. Okay. Oh, we're right here. So we may as well do my little uh, C bucks that I have. I'm pretty sure I used the sage green. So I have two. So we're going to color a two. To get a new or to buy a new cooler. So this is one that we will just slowly start working at. And I guess I will put this in the back. There's so many ones. That's crazy. So the question is, this is my friend's binder. These are a bunch of people that I follow on YouTube and I wanted to support their channel. But <clears throat> I've been doing this roll the dice challenge for a really long time, pretty much since I started doing these challenges. And I think I have about 30 something dollars left. Do I just use, I, don't, I think that would be the rest of my money. So I'm going to roll a little bit and then I do have a little bit of money pulled aside. I'm going to make a separate video. It's literally like $27. Um, to go into this binder, I might try to finish it then. Because I would like that money to come out too. If I want to. Okay, one. Right there. Two. Three. Two. Oh my god, there's two reds next to each other. Four. Two. So I'm excited that I'm finally rolling them one because i already have it out okay have any more ones four i'm like slowly going at this game okay so this leaves me 12 13 14. let's do our mystery unicorn so this is another one that i've made and I've been really, really, really enjoying. But I need to find my scratcher. This minute, I was not supposed to be filming. I was supposed to be getting myself in bed. But I just really wanted to film. It's an addiction. There's so much because I've been working on all of these binders. It's, it is a little unorganized right now. So mystery unicorn, eight dollars. Let's add that to our little binder. How is everyone doing? It is currently Wednesday night. It's probably Thursday for most of you because I live um, in Hawaii, so we have a little bit of a time difference. But we don't have daylight savings. <clears throat> it's only us in Arizona. We did not have daylight savings, so our time stay the same. But my best friend is in New York. I don't know why I said it like that. New York. Oh, you know what? It's because there's nothing. It's not hard behind it. And I didn't laminate this. So let's do $3. Let's do another one. It's between $2 and $8. So it's a 3 yeah, I should have laminated this, but at the time, I had just um, ran out of sheets. So I think I'm considering opening an Etsy shop because I love making them, but I cannot do all the challenges that I make, and I would just love to share them with everyone. Um, for my niece, she actually is going to be one month old. Oh my goodness, very, very soon eight dollars so i want to put 80 or not 80 50 dollars a month towards her first birthday present i would love to give her uh 500 because that's about 50 dollars a month uh, i am two months off and that's because i didn't add for her first month and i want to give myself grace if i'm not able to do 50 dollars for a second month okay 
let's see i'm gonna do this fall challenge i add a sticker for everyone it it's gonna end up to 30 dollars um let's just roll a dice to see how much we need to add four dollars one two three four i like this whole letting the dice tell me what to do sort of thing because i am really not good at making decisions i start to overthink it especially because i want to add a little bit to all the challenges so we have this is a little turkey one two three four so we are halfway done we are at 15 dollars that is exciting guys okay so we just did that i'm not gonna start this one until i have another sticker one done tea party the frog what is this first one? Oh, i think wait what is this oh this is my taco one okay i already finished that so we are gonna do this little tea party it says a woman is like a tea bag you cannot tell her how strong she is until you put her in you can't tell how strong she is and Oh my gosh a woman is like a tea bag you can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water one i love this like new little set that i got but i did order permanent markers they're not gonna be sharpie i got the one whatever is on amazon it was like 50 for like eight dollars so we'll see how they are i want to be able to do the laminated um Okay, let's do one. Let's just roll a few more times. Three. One, two, three. Let's see. Five. Should I do cross off a five? Or should I do like, um, I guess we'll just do a five. I actually am really enjoying this one. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Three. So if I do two dollars. So I only have about 12, 13 dollars left. So we should call this one quits. So right now for this one, it's my little tea party. I did a whole bunch of little tea party ones. I have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. 18 dollars on the way to 62. Yeah, I like that a lot more that I just let the dice choose because if I tell myself that I need to decide, then I will sit there for forever. <laughs> Let's do another jam for roadside jam. So I have my little jam stickers. Which one should we do? Wait, what colors do we have? Ooh, maybe that one. It looks like grape. I don't think it's blueberries. Yeah, I think it's grape. So we're gonna stack that, add another $5. We have $15 in this little roadside jam for sale. I like making the little sticker challenges. I have a really fun one where it's going to be, it's a little bit harder to make because it's going to be, uh, it's going to like this. So it's going to be like a little open up and it's going to be a refrigerator and you can stock your refrigerator with whatever fruit we have or not fruit, but food. My daughter took it, my little mock-up one, and she made it into a um, cell phone. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna, oh, I wanna do the dice one, but I think I wanna try this. I love sprinkles. So it's the nominations one through five and the total is going to be $30. I actually just sent this one to Lady Die cause she said that she loves sprinkles and I love her. So it just felt very fitting. I need to get a vacuum. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Lady Dye, so I bought her a vacuum, right? And she commented, she's like, oh my gosh, you don't even have a vacuum for yourself. Does anyone else feel like they can contemplate a small purchase for themselves for forever? But if they want to buy it for someone else, they just don't even put any thought into it. Okay. That's how I am. So I bought her, I was contemplating if I wanted a vacuum and I definitely want one. 
but i'm like you know i just can't justify buying it for myself but in a heartbeat i was like i am buying it for lady die i'm like that with a lot of things like i could literally contemplate a three dollar purchase for myself for weeks and then if my mom wants something and it's like forty dollars i'm like okay bought it got it for you and then okay so oh i don't even have a i love sprinkles oh i think it's this one right here but i put it in the wrong space that is my bad and then we need something for one dollar um i'm just gonna add it to my property tax like i know it's just one dollar but we need to save up seven hundred dollars so right now I'm feeling pretty okay with adding my $1 because every dollar is going to count when it comes to my property tax. I cannot wait for it to be done and then I'm gonna have to pay it again, but then I'll have a little bit more time to save for it. So I, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that this is not the one that I've been doing. I actually had a 500 and a $200 tracker what i did was i got rid of the 500 i'm gonna finish the 200 first because the two 500 dollars one was not making me feel good about myself and i felt like i was so far behind um this is gonna help me feel a little bit better and then once i finish this then i'll do another one and probably more in this style than i had the other one but i'm debating how long is this video okay we're at like 23 minutes i'm wondering if i should just start condensing these bills a um property tax because there's a lot of ones in here okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten ten and then two twenties so we're gonna do a 50. oh wait was that for my road fees Okay, that was for my road fees, not my property tax. So we have... Um, so we have 40, 50... There we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to... Oh, for that to just be over. Okay, let's see. For a peel box, we have 20. 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, you know what? We may as well just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, we may as well just do it if we're already going to go and condense the other bills or the other envelopes. Oh, there's another one in there. That's fine. It doesn't really change anything it's just a little one okay car registration we probably can condense one two three four five six seven eight nine. Ugh. okay so if we have so nine so ten twenty i am just going to short myself one dollar so that I can condense that. So we have a uh, 40, 50. Oh my gosh. I have to pay my registration at the end of this month and I need $200. But it's going to be okay. I have money in my checking account for car related expenses if I need to pull that for the rest of it. But I think by the end of the month, we should have money for that. I'm pretty sure. It, that's our little condensing that we just did. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that it wasn't the most exciting. We didn't put tons of money, but... We're still making progress and we were able to take out the $100 to put towards debt. So um, this is going towards debt. And then this is okay. So I pulled out just in full transparency. I was saving towards um, emergency funds, but I decided to just take all that money out that I had and just put it towards debt because once I get that cleared, I can put so much money towards my emergency fund. Um, oh, shucks. I should not have taken out those ones. It is a lot of ones. 
but like i said so i pulled out the emergency money and i i have money in my checking account if there's ever an emergency really like truly an emergency but i'm gonna just focus on that because i really just need to pay off debt and i'd rather just put more money towards it my goal is to throw a thousand dollars towards my credit card this week but we'll see how the market is on friday before i can make that decision so let's just do this so we have 5 10 15 15 plus uh one two three four five 160 oops oh my gosh i've already messed up oh this is gonna be a lot of ones okay i'm gonna fast forward this i'll be right back okay i'm going to film another video and Oh, wait, did I, did I just add that? Wait, why do I feel like, I don't know why that was so hard. Okay, so I am going to film my little friends binder. And then I'm going to probably complete that dice challenge. And then I will take that amount, add it to this, which is $2.59. Um, and then that'll be the total amount that I'll put towards debt tomorrow. <laughs> that was especially difficult for me. And it should not have been. But I just want to thank you guys all so much for your love and support. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.